come to another episode of a Roman racing. As you can see, we're outside today. Outside. You know, we have Nana over there, so off camera. Uh, I fry up some some chicken. We have the girls, they're going to see them around up and down in the background. They're playing with their sprinkler. We decided to make this more you know, relaxed, more no, natural and natural. Today? Yeah, today. I feel like it's natural all the time. It's only because yeah, we have an actual setting. Yeah. The reason we're doing it like this today is one, because we want to be outside. It's a good weather and it's up and down. One minute it's cold, one Mommy, minute it's, yeah. it's warm and we just want to use this up and the lighting is... It's nice. It's nice. It's just these little ridges, but it's okay. Alright, so we started having a, a little conversation just a while ago before we started. We decided to record, right? And um, this is a friend of ours. You know, it came up. You know, this friend of ours, this a young man, a brother. You see me, a yeah, they are up. Uh, you know, you should that thing. I don't think so, but we shake them up. Yeah, they put some words. You see me? So, I, I don't know how the conversation started, but it no, got. No, I was saying to you that there's. Oh, for their conversation. Yeah, for their conversation. Oh, their yeah. conversation, I don't know. But it got to a point where our mutual friend, we're going to call her Lil D. No. Yeah, yeah. why? That's what we're going to call calling nobody's name. Okay. We're going to call her Lil D, right? <laughs> But, so she's listing her criteria for for the kind of man that she wants you see me and this is this is it verbatim it's not what her criteria it's just what she feels like she's bringing to the relationship to the that she is expecting for somebody else to bring. bring to her no more than what she's bringing but we soon get into that part of it but this is this is the criteria this is a list of things a man needs to be well adjusted Emotionally stable, financially responsible, ambitious, open to learning, and an in an involved partner. So let so let me run it by again. Well adjusted, emotionally emotionally stable, financially responsible, ambitious, and open to learning. No, individually. Nothing wrong with them, each of those criteria by themselves, on them own merit, of course. Mm. But I don't know a single individual, a single man, especially a yardy, that is all six of those. And I think that's just crazy. Well, you think it's crazy that you don't know anybody like that? Or you think that it's crazy that this is an um, expectation that some, anybody would have? for their partner i think both yeah it's i think it's that both that okay. we don't know anybody like i don't know anybody like that isn't that what you want for your girl as a father of course you see me want somebody who can be a you know a protector a provider i'm also uh my girls to be a provider and a protector maybe not physically why so, they can be protectors physically too yeah but you see me i i want i want it to be even and and we're not talking about what we want and what we wish things were, right? I'm speaking from growing up in Jamaica and knowing what most of the men are like there. And well, this including and this include myself as well. You don't think you offer those things? All six? Let's be honest, babe. Let's be honest. Like be real. Wait, be... say them again. Let me tell you. Let me listen to that. <laughs> we can't tell you right after what the first two know. What what is it? Tell me, tell me well adjusted do you think i'm well adjusted i do think you are well adjusted in what sense of the word bro i think because i feel like i'm having my crazy moments so my time when we just like switch up and say you know i'm gonna give a f bro. it doesn't mean you're not well adjusted and it doesn't mean that you're not growing and learning when i met you i thought that you were a little bit maybe you weren't well adjusted but me. i think that when i just met you 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 may not have been as well adjusted as you are now, but you are well adjusted now. I mean, you came here, you learned to exist in a different culture. Um, you learned to exist among people who are not necessarily your age group. I mean, think about it. You went to one job and then you went to a different job and you've adjusted. I think that you are a well adjusted person and you, you are, um, the word is not flexible. What is the word I'm looking for? adaptable you're adaptable so you adapt right yeah and then what's the next criteria but before we move on to that because 
I can adapt to situations. Mm -hmm. I can adjust and in terms of that, you know, the workplace or any to I want to go in a new environment, sure. Yeah. But my interpretation of that is on the emotional aspect, the mental aspect. I because, think emotionally because, you do find so I think you don't give yourself credit. I don't know. But from an outsider, I would say you are well adjusted. Well, I appreciate that. I thank you for that one. So, and I think um, Lil Z would say the same thing. Yeah. So what's the next question? Emotionally stable. I think that you are emotionally stable. I think that you are interpreting emotionally stable as somebody who doesn't get upset. It's not even about upset, baby. It's about navigating correctly or properly on the emotions that someone feels. I think that you're navigating well Because when, when I get angry, it's not about it's not about if I get angry. You know, it's, when I get angry, I'm just I'm just like no. I feel like when you get angry, you kind of get quiet. Exactly. I'm going to shut down, shut off, lock off, you see me? But that doesn't make you emotionally unstable. I think that's your coping mechanism. Um, and that's how some people kind of mentally go through it until they're ready to speak. I don't think that makes, means you're unstable at all. You don't give yourself credit at all. What's the next criteria? I, I mean, the rest, yeah, this, is, this is a must. Everybody should have this as an adult. So, Oh, so okay. The first two is that. Uh, like I'm, I'm saying like, like the first two, uh, cause it has to do with emotions. It has to do with you know, being able to navigate them properly. And growing up in Jamaica as men, you're not taught how to navigate. Um, but being emotion. adaptable is not just about emotion. Well, I was thinking about it from my emotional, emotional standpoint. You see me. Also. The rest are. Tell me. Um, financially responsible, okay. that's a must. Mm -hmm. At 35 years old. Mm, even before that, mm -hmm. ambitious. Mm -hmm. We need that from a more, very, very young age. Mm -hmm. Ambition is important. Open to learning. Open no, to learning is not a bad thing. Either. It's not a bad thing, right? But we can't tell you something. It's not until I left Jamaica that I stopped being as close minded as I was. Yeah. You know, because growing up in Jamaica, like you, like the culture is very, it's very strong. It's very overwhelming. Come over here, baby. You see me? Um, for me, a little boy, I grew up in Jamaica, yeah, you say, oh, you're a bully for a girl. For me, a little boy, yeah, you hear them thing there. You see me? Even, so, even sometimes your mother or the females in that society would even push that to them son as well. You yeah, have a bully for a girlfriend, man. You, you see me? You're a cheater. Yes, basically, yeah, you want you put never a negative connotation, the negative light, but yeah, yeah. Facts. You see me, yes, and it's it, it is expressed that yeah. you know if you have only per girl, right, only per girl, and then not only that, you 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 are just a man, so you forget pick me and put it down. You know, get picnic and put them down. Pick me eat food. You know, pick me get cured for. So you don't know how you're gonna take care of them. Yeah. But don't worry, have them. It'll all work so, out. So like, I, 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 and that's just fun day. The lower aspect of things, like when it come on to like some other issues in Jamaica, it's like a straight no, no. There's no. What about these criteria, though? All right, these criteria. criteria. Yeah. It depends my appearance. Because I don't think that's too much to ask. You verbalize that you feel like, as a Jamaican man. No you know, I got one. have all of those things. Especially the emotional one. Them. One of them depends on uh, that our demands, emotion, our proper navigation of your emotion and feelings. Then I got them. You're open to learning. But you can learn it. But I mean, at 35 years old, you don't think a person should at least have started learning. And I'm sorry, but the world that we live in nowadays, in, um, what do you call it? Information, um, education, things are now op open and available. Like, I yeah, remember but, watching a couple of vlogs with some people and them speaking on a certain type of level, like the male in the in the couple, and I'm thinking, wow, it's such growth. This is like a Jamaican person. And Has he, does Jamaican he travel? Wife. Does he travel? He travels, but That's I don't... That's the thing, because here, here's what I'm saying to you, babe. You see, until you leave Jamaica mm. and go elsewhere... Okay. You're this. You're just in this little it's bubble. It's a bubble. I I agree. I think like when I came here for school, that was my expression. Like, wow, Jamaica is a bubble. Like, a, it's a bubble. You you know you you watch cable and you see what's going on, but it really is a place of, in and of itself on its own. You might see one and two things, but like the things, the mantras and the things they put in your head. Yeah, like like yeah, growing up yeah, in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. 
I it agree is, with that part. I, 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 I don't want to get into this other conversation, but like, if you don't grow up in Jamaica, you don't really experience the culture at a certain level because the culture in Jamaica, it is, it is thick, bro, and it's heavy. Yeah. Like even as a even even as a man who you did and you say you know say me just want to keep my one girl, you literally won't because you're afraid that people are gonna laugh off of you. Uh, or or I'm gonna go see and point you. They are laughing at you. Yeah, and they, like, they say to your and face. And tease you, so it push yeah, you up. Yeah, so yeah. you know what I mean? Either so me go. You don't want your to 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 look a certain type of way in front of your friends. Peer pressure is a thing, bro. Me I tell you that peer yeah. pressure is a thing. Even with bro. Yeah, either when you do one girl, you fool me. You can have one girl, one girl make you kill yourself or kill girl, you know, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just saw it still, you see me? So the emotional so aspect, the emotional is, aspect it is lacking. It's you lacking, think. bruh. And then, as as men growing up in Jamaica, you're not taught certain things. You're not taught how to deal with anger. You're not, you're not taught how to deal with emotions, yeah. bruh. So you, they're not adaptable. Or what does that one say? The first one? Um, Well-adjusted, well-adjusted and emotionally stable. And emotionally no. stable. But the other things they should, they could have. The other so things, my yeah. Question like, is, ambition. My question to you is then, okay, so you don't think, if so if she's looking for, you don't know about the other men in the other cultures, but mm. if she's looking for a Jamaican man. She's not going to find an Adam in this so, can't tell. 100% sure. Okay, Certainly. fine. So maybe there's, for him, men of other um, creeds and races and cultures and everything that will have these criteria. Fine. But you also verbalized to me that you think that she has those kind, all of those herself. So then you're, ch- and she's a, a Jamaican woman. Who, who has left Jamaica, keep that in mind. Why is it that as a woman, take even her nationality out of it, as a woman, why is it that she can bring all those things to the table but she should have an expectation of if I'm looking for this person, like this Jamaican man, then he's not gonna have those things. Why is that? That that doesn't even that's not even fair. That makes no sense. Listen. Why should she she settle? But somebody's getting a um, upgraded version of a woman. I'm not saying that anybody should settle. I'm not saying you shouldn't get what you want. But you just said that she's not gonna find no man if them is the criteria for that said, is perfection. I said she not gonna find that. a Jamaican man with that. So she she can't to... look outside her area. She can't go elsewhere. Of course. Totally yes, I mean, I, 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 let me not say she won't find a Jamaican man because you have Jamaican men <coughs> who aren't in Jamaica. I think you fit those criteria. And I, 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 I honestly appreciate you saying that, but I know... I, I know that sometimes I don't do my emotions in the right and correct way. You know, it's not a matter that I, if if I get upset or not, because I, I get upset. Everybody gets upset. It's how you react, so you behave when you get upset. Your, your coping mechanism is is I think it's a, it's that's one of my coping mechanism. Abnormal. That is one of my coping mechanism. Um, coping mechanism. And here's the problem with that though. When you get angry or when you get emotional or when something is wrong and you like shut, sad. sad, whenever you get any type of way that is not happy, when you get any type of way and then you shut down and you keep it in, that's not good. I know it's not good. I'm not saying it's good, but, but I, I also I, think that you might keep it in at that moment, but you also express yourself thereafter. I do? You do. Well, I guess, you know, I guess I'm the perfect man, This people. would not... I'm the perfect man. Calm down. I'm just saying. Calm down. I don't think this would even flourish if you didn't eventually talk about stuff right yeah but yeah i think you put those criteria and the only reason why i even talk about stuff is because when i met you that was one of the things that was big on oh, your that list that was one of my criteria so it's not like you met me and i was this criteria. open and you know just I just burnt no no it was it, it's years yeah you were never you weren't a sharer it's no like this this is years of work grown. and i've grown in like incremental you know, amounts or whatever. Give yourself more credit. So when I was on the phone with Lil D, and you know she was blurting out all this, I was like, God, God damn, stop this! You're not gonna find, you're not gonna find all this in, in one so, month. It's not like when you met me, I was this well-adjusted, open to learning thing. I mean, can't say Jamaican men are open to learning. Oh my they're very, god! They're very selective about where you can teach and where you so, can not I feel that. like you're generalizing. I think some of them aren't are, are not there yet. The one, it has to be the ones who aren't in Jamaica. I'm <laughs> telling you that, bro. 
So what you are telling me, you are telling me, say is this: the world no level. I'm saying it's no, no, it's no, not. no, no, no. You are trying to tell me, say me to come with my good girl self, mm -hmm. find one man, mm -hmm. and just accept if in, if 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 in Jamaica or whatever. No. I accept, say you not know, get where you are bringing. Say so just have to. No, just but you, 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 first of all, let us stop right here, because you're making it seem like women bring. They're a hundred percent perfect, and they bring everything to the I table. I never said perfect. We're talking about these quite serious. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh. If, if, if we're staying within these, yeah. But you see, men, we bring other stuff to the table that's outside of okay. this. Okay. We are good. Pro Some men are good providers, good protectors. You see me? Okay. So you. So basically, you're saying, fine. Some of us might not have the first two. But at least we have additional things that can make, make us up for the that. first two. Okay, okay, okay. And, and, and the thing about it, you know, if you find somebody who you love and who love you, who don't have everything they want, there's no reason that rhyme that state that you can be with that person and help that person grow and develop over I the agree. years. I agree. Therapy is a thing. You see me? So if I'm on, so if you meet somebody from the get go, you just blurt out at least a thing. This is what you need for have. And if you don't offer it, it now nah, go work. I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna be looking for a long time mm. to find that perfect person. Cause there's nothing wrong in building something with somebody to get to where you want, to get to what you want. Just like with me, when you met me, I didn't have all the things then. No, but here's the thing. This reminds me of something that um, when I was growing up, I learned and I never forgot it, right? So I had uh, my best friend, uh, who was also my neighbor, his mother, Ivorine, big up yourself. She said to me one time, and I never forget, forgot it. She said, listen, best time for falling in love are when you're young and you're full fool. Because when you're young and you're full fool, you don't have any long list of criterias. And no, 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 really, I meet no criteria. Anyways, you're on the same level. We all agree. And we all agree. I Hold always up. remembered that. Um, not that I was, oh, I'm going to have to practice that. But I always remember that. And that's kind of what you're saying to yep. me. That when you met me and when I met you. We were both we, growing. We, we weren't were there. Both, we were both broke people. Yes. That have nothing to an EM. Full of we trauma. Probably, full of trauma, yes. We didn't meet. Let me see. Well adjusted. Nope. No, I was still adjusting. <laughs> um, Emotionally stable. I nope. definitely wasn't that. Financial. Oh, no. God, no. Ambitious, no. I was, I was always ambitious. No, this is the thing. Like, <laughs> I wanted to help my family. I wanted to take care of my family. Yeah. That was a big thing for me. I just didn't know how I was going to do it. Yeah. How I was going to accomplish that. I felt like you didn't know how, but you also I, had defeated. You had this defeatist attitude, like... I'm gonna know, so I'm just not. Yeah, like, I'm gonna know. I'm gonna know. Open to learning. Hell no, I was open to. Well, it depends. I was always. Open it depends. To if you're talking about like professional growth. If well, sometimes I was. I don't think I was. At that age, I wasn't. But if I talk up on a personal level, like, you know, with certain things, like, there's certain things that was just a straight no for me. Yeah. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Like so this. I, and... I agree with that. That's why you remind me of the whole you should. It's better to fall in love when you're young and stupid. Because you will grow together, you all don't have these long list of criteria that you're looking for, and none of you meet it anyways. Now, as a 35-year-old woman, I don't think that list is inappropriate, I don't think it's too much to ask, and if you're not a man bringing those things on the list, maybe I don't have the patience to want to work with you to help you become yeah, emotionally yeah. stable and be, be well-adjusted. I, I don't, maybe I don't have the patience for that. So... You're trying to tell me that unless a, a man is, is in a relationship, he might not have those criteria. That's not fair. I'm saying that. I'm sure there are men. Of men course there. out there. Raise of your hands if you exist. I'm you sure there are men out there with criteria at this 35 I'm and sure. over. But I'm sure there are men out there who fit that criteria. But guess what? They're hard to find? No, they are with women. <laughs> Yeah, we women, bro. You gonna find a single one? Yeah, we women, bro. So yeah, is it any size? Yeah, go share. It's gonna just keep looking. It's gonna take a while. Okay, single men who meet this criteria, please raise your hand. Not if you think you meet that criteria, just be genuine and honest. Okay, okay. Emotionally stable right? and emotionally aware. Please just know yourself. Well adjusted, because <laughs> I'm not even talking about the last couple. You think the others are? A given at this age. Yeah, so like financially fine. responsible. If you're 35, you're not financially responsible, bro. You you have failed at life. No. I feel, I, well, I feel no. like you are. I, feel I like you think have. that maybe you didn't have the direction you needed. Aunt, aunt, uh, aunt. 
Ants. Ants. I can't. Leave my kid alone. I don't teach her. <laughs> Poor grammar. Yeah, but aunt, aunt. <laughs> I can't. When she was telling me all these criteria, I was just trying to like picture the people. Am I know? It's this part though. It's this part. It's this part. Here, this part. Oh. That the person, um, then fast forward says to her, women can't keep a home together without a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really. That. I find. <laughs> Yo, me yes, that's like a typical Jamaican man. They, 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 that, but me know which girl I get with them there, cause I can't, I can't look him and look little deal with that. But you don't get no girl if you look nobody and tell them that. But woman can't do this without man. Woman can do a lot of things without. I, I would without say man. that personally, from my own experience, no offense, babe, but I think it's harder to keep a home with certain men. Not like nothing's wrong with anything is wrong with them. For instance, Mr. Messi over here. This is what I believe. This is what I believe. It takes two. All right, I so think that well, I know, this is two is is good and it, um, it's balanced. I suppose so, but some because people don't if, have two. You know, and, and and some people don't. It's either a single father home, a single dad, or a single mom. But something is missing, and it's very evident mm. that something is missing. I come from a single mom and I do think that something is missing. I'm just yeah. speaking from my own experience. Um, I, I come from a single like, mom. Um, the home. experience would have been a whole lot different. different yeah. yeah. And I come from a single mom home. So. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Ella Ella's was there, but my dad's only name, Dede, bro. Because, yeah. because I didn't have a dad who, yo, come on, me show you how to do this. Wasn't Or, it I didn't never follow you down. This is how you need to see if I achieve this. Or this is how you go about doing this. This is how you look, girl. This is how you shame. This is how you, you put your clothes together. This is how you tie your okay. tie. So, do, so you think that women can keep a home together without a man, or you think that they can? I think that every, anybody, both man or woman, can survive on their own. I can raise a family. Harder. It's just going to be harder one, yeah. and something's going to be missing. Because if you have girls, you want the dad around. Girls are a boy, a girl are a boy, you're gonna need a dad around for, for, for certain things. And you'll definitely need a mom around for certain things as well. And I, I, or a female mother figure. Or a male figure. figure, whatever. Yeah, yeah, fatherly figure. It is very evident when the, when the home is missing one. You, you know, you can raise well adjusted kids Yeah. in a single um, home situation. But, but it's harder. It's harder. Yeah, yeah. All right, and. and it affects the kids too. I'm gonna tell us that sometimes you, because I think that my mother did a bang up job. Um, kudos to her, she did wonderfully. I do think that though, sometimes you don't even know what that you are lacking something. It's not apparent. Like certain things you don't know until you know. So after being an adult and going through things and meeting people and talking to people and growing then i said well and you know so i never really did have this yes. for me i didn't know how damaged yeah how toxic mm. i am until i left jamaica mm. and came to the states and i started to hang out or hang around with people who are more adjusted because i remember when i just came here and i was staying at my aunt and you know me i go up on the road I don't call nobody say how I left. I don't tell nobody when I reach where I go. Yeah, just... that was weird to me. Yeah, so I remember fighting with them two ten nails. Say, oh, oh, you people look upon me and tell me so my family dysfunctional. dysfunctional. Just because we don't do the same thing we want to do. Mm. You understand? We don't, we don't communicate the way. Everybody communicate different. And I would fight anybody yeah, you were very who would tell me you were, otherwise. You were very defensive all. about it. And and then you know what was so crazy? Like everybody was saying it, and I was just not accepting. Like I just couldn't you see. You were ready because I I grew up, and that's the only thing I knew. Yeah. So it wasn't bad. It wasn't right. It's just what I knew. Yeah. It's what I was used to. You know, there was anything different from it. That's just what I knew. Yeah. You understand? And and it, you were saying that when you would leave, you were saying um you wouldn't tell you would, wouldn't tell anybody when you got where you got yeah, that, yeah that, was, that, that was just one example you know I, and i was like you what that's crazy i've always been told by my mother when you leave the house and you get somewhere you call and say i'm here and then um when you are leaving the place you call and say hey i'm leaving i'm headed back so when you were like what do you mean 
mean? I don't need uh, to do that. I don't understand why you all do that. <laughs> I, I don't know. That I, I, I'm not saying that Jamaican parents don't instill that or teach that. No, no, no. My, I don't think my, it's because she's Jamaican. I think it's just. My mom mother. just didn't do that. I was. I, I wouldn't even talk about my father. My, like I said, I grew up and it. It was as if there was no father there. Big man thing. As as suck as it's on. It is what it is, right? Mm. But that. My mom just never required that. She never asked for that. If you call, you call. I, we, we don't so my question to you now is you think that how somebody grew up affects influences, influences whether or not they possess the criteria that was listed of course most definitely yeah and I, and i said it earlier growing up in jamaica especially as a boy there are certain things that you are mm-hmm. taught that contradicts the criteria that's listed there yeah you see okay. me we weren't taught anything about being emotionally intelligent or we not we were not taught how to handle uh, or deal with our emotions as, as boys mean, yeah up. honestly like if you cry they will call yeah, you yeah girl yeah, yeah. see where you're about for a, yeah. girl, a girl alone cried yep so yeah it's definitely how you grow up in jamaica you're growing up in a very close-minded environment and it took me leaving jamaica to realize even that that everybody has a right to live the way they want to live. Okay. You know, it's. Such so a find a Jamaican man, basically. I'm just saying that it's going to be. Have forgot, she has forgot to adjust and say. She can't find a Jamaican man. For reach them other two criteria. She can't find a Jamaican man who have the, all the. I mean, all them criteria. Like, it's. It's difficult. I really think that I'd only Jesus, Jesus alone of all I, I know uh, one of your friends who I feel like me that, but then again, you said it's who? people who are here. Who? Amil? Yeah. <laughs> gonna lick. <laughs> Look, he is Honestly, well adjusted, adjusted emotionally stable, stable, financially responsible, ambitious. Yeah, that's all I come here. That's all I come here, but trust me, I'm here. I've been looking at me which we don't get into. Ways doesn't mean that yeah. you don't have. I'm, I'm talking about these. Like I told you, the men with all five or all six are with somebody right now. They ain't free out there. They're not. They're not. They're not free, free out there. Okay, well. Worse. Worse, worse than them 35 year old, definitely not free. Why would a 35 year old man not be with somebody right now? I'm trying to think if I know any. Do you know any 35 year old men that not have nobody? Just one, you know, a friend circle, friend circle or outside of your friend circle. Do you know any single man? No, because every man have woman, only woman alone feel like they need man sometimes. That's a whole other. <laughs> That's a whole like, other I know, topic. I know a bunch of thirty-five-year-old women and older who are in a relationship. But can you think of a single thirty-five-year-old man, man, or older that is not in a relationship? I just feel like it's because a lot of us women are out there struggling. Not me, but there are others. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because men, we are, we are realistic. Well, we're very logical when it no, comes to things. No, I think thing. that you are lucky because you're getting people to Aren't meet that? a certain criteria yeah. that you yourself cannot take to a carry we're, to the we're, table. We're extremely lucky, lucky as men. I just think y'all lucky. I think y'all are blessed people. Um, I'm, I'm not just saying, saying women you're not out there going that... to find a 35 year old single man with all those criteria. Well. I think that's it. I mean, I don't have anything else to talk about. Do you want to address anything else? Funny, in this? Was this a topic that you wanted for this? No, this was not the topic. But we were just chatting, and we're, and he was saying, "Let's just film this because yeah. this is a reasoning that we're having, and I think it's actually something people are really talking about yeah. now. Maybe I'm just noticing because of you know how whatever you follow on the socials, that's what they give you." But this is something I hear people Yo, talking let, about a lot that women have such high expectations. Unrealistic. Just like the car chat we had. Um, kind of. Un- unrealistic. I don't think these are unrealistic. I genuinely think they are acceptable. I think they're appropriate for a 35 and older person to have. Um, it's just unfortunate that it does feel like women are settling um, for less than what they can bring to the table and it's, it's it's just unfortunate honestly 
Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments. <laughs> and thank you for watching. And please like, share, subscribe, and comment to the thing. All right, so YouTube can push your thing out, yeah, so it can reach a lot of people. So we can build a community. Most of the people who watch us, they're not like, are not, not, follow, uh, not only that they're not subscribed. Subscribe to the thing, bro. Yeah. Hit the little bell somewhere. Wherever somewhere where it, it wherever it, it shows up, right? <laughs> I think it's on your side. But come on, like. And comment, join the yeah. conversation. Yeah, you know what you think. We hear from I think, you. I think women are what is this? illogical and unreasonable. Oh, you know, it's about bring it back in. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. that's it. Let me bring this. All right, good night. Babe, ew, ew, that thing goes in the fridge on top of food. You're gonna have to sanitize that. Don't even touch it anymore. I'm gonna wash it so last night, you know? I'm not busy with that. Black and ugly, just use your wipe. All right, I choose.